I do have to ask you about because in between the time that we booked you to come on the show mm -hmm. and you actually coming on the show, you had a guy called Nick Fuentes. Oh you yeah, interviewed. yeah, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, and then you did an interview with this guy. Like, this is not a guy we would ever have on because he's a racist, mm -hmm. uh, Holocaust denying piece of shit as far as I'm concerned. But you had him on and then you took that interview down and apologized. Mm -hmm. So what happened with that whole thing? Oh, there is, there's, a, I can't talk too much. There's like legal things going on. There's um, legal things going on. Yeah, wow. there's, um, not, not with Nick, but just, yeah. But there is, um, I have a video coming out about that whole thing. So you, do. you guys have to wait for the video. Well, um, but I will say I um, I did not find Nick to be racist. Uh, my staff actually did not find him to be racist. Wait, so. he was talking to an Italian girl next to you mm -hmm. and saying that she shouldn't have a black boyfriend or something along those lines. He he doesn't believe in... See, I don't really want to go into like the race mixing stuff yeah. too much. No, but, but you just said he wasn't being racist and I watched him be racist on your show. Well, I mean, it, to me, he says the same things that, like, like there's a lot of people that think like that. When but it doesn't make it less racist just because other people think it. You could say that, but to me, it's like, how do I put it? His argument is more about culture. It's easier if you date someone in your culture. Um, she, to you'd have to watch the full thing, but was, like, being a bit, like, combative to him. And to me, I, he was just, like, kidding. But, yeah. You'd he have to did watch. say... I am a bit racist, even in that. And in fact, in your apology, you said that he said racist things. Mm. Um, well, the, there's a video coming out about all of that, but you'll see. It's coming out. Okay. Well, the reason I'm asking you is because it's kind of like a big deal that you had this guy on. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, he is incredibly toxic. Um, I, like, I'm just telling you my personal experience yeah. with him. Um, we filmed hours and hours and hours of footage with him. There was that one, in like... To me, if you watch the full clip, it puts it in a little bit of context. Yeah. But uh, he was really polite. He showed up on time. Like we just. Yeah. He, he also. And and, I, and honestly, he did a panel, and he spoke about his opinions on race mixing, and a lot of people agreed with him. Okay, but that doesn't change whether it's racist or not, right? But what I'm getting. Do you to... think it's racist to like? Because I'm I'm curious. Yeah. Do you think it's Go racist on. like if I'm Irish and I say I want to date someone that's Irish? Do you think that's racist? No, but if I say to you you're Irish, therefore you shouldn't date a black man, that is racist. Yeah. <laughs> you you do have controversial guests as we do, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with talking to people who are controversial. But Nick Fuentes is a very different kettle of fish, as we say here, right? Yeah. Um. My my opinion is that he was polite overall. Um, he was a good guest. He was also denying the Holocaust, from what I remember. Look, yeah, I'm not with that. <laughs> keep, me, <laughs> keep me out of that one. I'm not with the race. Like that's not my thing. But I just think people are allowed to have their opinions. So if he has crazy opinions, let him have his opinions. And I think he he should be allowed to talk about it on a podcast. But isn't it also the duty, Pearl, of the person interviewing them to push back on those opinions when they come up and actually challenge them and investigate them and to basically push back on it. Yeah, I mean, we could do another show where we push back more. It's not the end-all be-all. But surely, that not that the risk? Isn't that I the wanted to do, like, one with Dr. Umar, but he didn't want to come. Sad. Who, who's Dr. Oh. I don't know who that Dr. is. Dr. Umar has, like, the same opinions as Nick. Like, he doesn't believe in race mixing, too. He's just black. Yeah. Mm. It's like a common... Yeah, yeah like there are some people, people who believe that, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, when you were talking about the Holocaust with him, he was saying it's like slavery, it got embellished, and you were sort of going, mm, I, can, I can see your point. Mm -hmm. And that's why I found it a bit confusing, because mm -hmm. then in your apology, you said, well, I wasn't really educated on these things. I yeah. Um Do you feel like, you asking that question, you feel like something in college makes women um, want to... I mean, I think it kind of goes back to like women out earning men have a hard time respecting the men they're with. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I actually read into, <laughs> I actually read into that data. It's so not true. I read into that data and it explained why. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times the women reported that mm -hmm. they had way too much responsibility in the marriage. Mm -hmm. So they were expected to be in charge of the household duties mm -hmm. and still work a job. Mm -hmm. And they add to... Oh, come on. What percent of modern women actually cook? 
It was, it was, wait, 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 that is, that is, no. but that's, that's, of, that's, 20% wait, wait. of the men, it, when both parents are working, mm-hmm. only 20% actually reported to doing household duties. Mm-hmm. That's scary mm-hmm. when you're both working. I mean, I'm just saying the shit's automated nowadays. I mean, you have a washing machine, a dishwasher. Yeah, well, so sure, you have you to say, but even at that, fry, but as much as it's on, as much as it's automated, men still don't do it. I'm, yeah, still yeah. don't do they it. They still don't do it. That's so, that's the issue is that one of the big problems with households. for divorce, It absolutely is is a reason sure. when you oh, get when you get older and you manage a household on your own pearl you'll see how mm-hmm. fucking annoying it is when you're mm-hmm. working and then you come home and yeah. everything is fucked up and horrible and nobody's fucking cleaning anything mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that is yeah. a totally valid reason for divorce of course Divo- yeah. chores to break up a home pearl, a family have kids. you lived in a filthy if home you're you're you've never lived if it's with consistent a person, if it's, it is consistent where you're consistently yeah. having to have that burden upon yourself you keep telling him please can you clean up like it's so funny because like lifelong friends from like grade school to high school will dorm in college and then hate each other forever over like bad dorm roommates yeah. and that's not even a relationship mm-hmm. so yeah of course i think stuff like this is perfectly valid For i think sure. i think splitting up and splitting up thing. splitting up duties in the household is like one of the most important parts of like a relationship because right. yeah. it's where you're spending most of the time together this is why i say people get triggered when i say i don't think you're even dating until you live together because until mm-hmm. you live together you don't really know who the other person's like and once you start living together and you see what the household duties are like then you get a feel for what the relationship is i mean i just i just think that like i don't know i feel like that stuff can be worked out chores like wait, hold on wait things, do you understand your wait, wait, wait hold on wait things. you're not saying anything Oh, do you do this intentionally? We're like, I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. We're telling you. I'm telling you that. I mean, that's. Yeah, there, I mean, I'm, you're giving your opinion. I'm giving. I'm not mine. giving an opinion. I'm saying that in I'm, a house. So this is not an opinion. Okay, this is, I'm, I'm okay, putting yeah, this forward as okay, fact. Okay. In a house, delineation of chores is one of the most important things. Yeah. That if somebody's constantly destroying the bathroom, leaving clothes mm-hmm. everywhere, leaving dirty food in the sink, they can't mm-hmm. clean their their yeah. dishes or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like these things will det- will destroy anything mm-hmm. over time. Yeah, yeah but and, that's and, what that's what she said. She said, "I'm sure we can work it out." That's well, but they obviously can't because they're not though. They're not working it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. There may be, maybe these women that are making all this money that, you know, they're making so much money working and they don't want to do the house chores. Maybe they should go and get an older guy with more money so they can go and employ a maid. What? And a cook. (laughs) What? Yeah. You guys Maybe be they should be saying anything, that. man. How's that anything? Okay, but then, no, but then you, you got put, no. You, what? Listen to what you just said. You said they're leaving the guys that make less money because they're expected to make money and do the house. And you were saying how hard it is because you're at home and you're doing all these chores. Okay, then don't be with a guy that le- makes less money. Find a guy that makes more money, and then you don't have to do chores because you employ the maid and the cook. Okay, so but, but then like you said, but then young guys, young guys can't complain then that girls won't date their own age because they because guys can't do house chores. Then you'd be like, oh, sorry, okay, you know, yeah. you're. 25 years old. I you have, have to be single till you're 35 and learn how to I do the dishes. Like, do- and only top five percent of men can even afford that. To be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get and, a and, in the and UK. What, how and, many and men what percentage? Can afford of, that? And what percentage of women are these high flyer women that are making six figures a year? No, I'm not. No, What's I'm not. No, I'm just asking. Her. I'm just asking you. I'm just asking you because you're going. You're making this point about these women that make so much money no, and I'm then not they make. They make so much money. I'm speaking I'm to the mic. Speaking to the mic. They work. So okay. having a full time job, mm-hmm. on average, men or women are going to into what they're in the workforce. Mm-hmm. So obviously they're making money. I'm not saying they're high earners. All I'm saying is they're working. That's it. Okay. So the, the the solution is men should understand that their women are also working. Mm. So how can I help knowing that we're doing the same job? Mm. How can I make her life easy? Because she's making my life easy by doing the chores. Well, Pearl so, said that, but Pearl said that I'm sure there's a way you could work it out so that the house chores can be, you know, easy and good for everybody. It should wait, do okay. the house can chores. I, wait, wait, let me ask a question. <laughs> do you think... So do you wait, think wait, the man wait. should do all the house chores because he makes all. less money? Not wait, yeah, most all. of them. Most of them. Yes, most Half of them. Of all right, cool. Okay, do you? Why do you think they're getting divorced? Do you think divorce is fun? That the because they're college educated and they hate men, they're just like, oh, I'm just going to divorce because I I hate all men. Like, I why mean, do you think they get divorced? I think women divorce for no reason all the time. What? Okay, no that's good that's that's yeah. that's absolutely yeah, honestly, retarded. You just need to talk honestly, to more people then because I, that's not I, true. I talk to people. Every, you don't. You don't four talk. Days a week you, no, no, for a year. Yeah, <laughs> talk, <laughs> no, if you not think that people just get divorced, four days a week on the street, on the street, red pill community. Esther, 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 you've never seen my street interviews. Then I've done so many street interviews. I talk to random strangers on the street all the time. And you and you find women that get divorced like, oh, you know, I just wanted to get divorced. I mean, no, yeah. but the reasons they Can I tell dumb. you the reasons? Like because I researched it. Because <laughs> dumb, re- dumb. Dude, you're, oh my god, you're actually a child. What do you think love is? You're just like romantically going away to Venice like every year and that's I mean, like the I, best, like, no, a relationship requires a lot of deliberate work. I mean, and yeah, things like, I, hold on, hold on, things like chores are where relationships start to break down mm-hmm. and it'll steamroll into bigger things. Like, a guy not doing chores ever might be a guy that you don't want to fuck anymore. Mm-hmm. And then 
you not having sex ever it might be you guys just don't get along anymore and then like three months into it you fucking hate each other and you don't know why and you're not sleeping together even you're not having any sex you don't do anything together and it starts over small shit but anybody that's been in any relationship long term I don't know how old you guys are but if you've been in real relationships long term these little things will pile up and fucking kill you it's they're true. like the worst things relationships are not like this puppy like romantic yeah. love constantly it's doing the small things every single day to make sure the relationships work yep okay but you're, you're just like lol chores like <laughs> i don't know what that means like, I, mean, it may- I just think that you, like why do you have to let it get to that point i feel like ask the guys that aren't doing the are chores they, yeah. ask them exactly <laughs> exactly ask the men why can't like, you do I, the I, chores I, 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 you think it's controversial no. to say that i think chores is a crazy reason to get divorced and break up a home and put your kid at every statistical disadvantage that you possibly could no chores? because it's not just so chores. Like, i just think that's a stupid if you reason. can't do chores you probably I can't th- pick your kid up on time you probably aren't paying attention to the needs of your fucking wife okay, you probably are keeping other points like you can't do chores everything else in life is probably falling then apart you should have picked a better guy cool. and, and then you know what then you divorce then you divorce once you have kids it's not about you anymore i mean i don't really if you someone, no. if someone wants to get divorced fine but like i just think once you have kids it's not about you wait you're, can no, i just you say can't can have... we stop using this excuse of just pick a better guy as a as an answer every time women aren't happy about situation mm-hmm. can we mm-hmm. just hold men accountable and just say please can you help your woman out if they if, okay wait, wait, wait I'll, okay i'll help you they don't have they, a lot you of can, options you can, you can help women, with chores <laughs> thank you <laughs> wow but no one but no one but no one but, but no one was arguing that though no right. one was saying that I, the men shouldn't like, do I chores or do what he needs to do in the home no one was arguing that my whole argument not to my, over my whole that's you saying that Esther, men don't Esther, need to Esther, do Esther, it. Esther, my whole argument is that I think divorce is stupid over chores. I think that's stupid. I feel like you've never lived with someone that like she hasn't. Like that's the only that's, that's the, the only, only way you don't you, understand yeah, this. You've never, lived, you've never lived with somebody that is like you come home so tired. You know you've cleaned the house. You're ready to just sleep in your bed, and the house is a pigsty. There's it's funny. There's so, did you, so did you? So did you? Really 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 was you in a relationship with a bum? Then you've done it. So you sound like you've done it. Have you? been in that situation i'm not talking to, i'm not gonna go into that detail i think it's really funny i think it's really funny that when we have these conversations we say lol just chores lol just chores but then when i go on any red pill podcast and i say what is a perfect wife what's a perfect woman the only thing that the men say are women that do chores i want a woman that takes care of the house that cooks me a clean meal that makes sure that my home is in order those are chores hi me again um, I'm gonna make one more video about this whole Hannah topic and then I'm done, I promise you. Just a couple like final thoughts, that's all. Um, a lot of people were confused because I talked about her relationship with that one guy on here um, in one of my videos and then in the next, I was like, she's never been even in a relationship. I wouldn't really count that as like a serious one, at least, I don't know. I don't know what that was, honestly. Like, that, was, that wasn't even real. That was a fever dream to me. Next thing, I'm going to reiterate what I said in the first stitch, which you can't even see her original video that I stitched because her account got banned, which it always does, and then she just makes a new one. Hang on. I was saying, um, in my original stitch, I was saying she doesn't believe anything she talks about. And I've come to the conclusion that all she has to do is study this red pill theory and then perform for her audience it's a performance she's acting she's getting everybody riled up she's getting these weird men to subscribe to her and give her money and that's how she's making money by riling us up i do still believe there's a hannah deep down in there maybe i don't know but no she was not always like this she was completely normal the stuff that she says now is shocking to me because it wasn't just like a progressive getting worse. It was like all of a sudden she's like, I'm gonna do red pill content to the extreme. But yeah, so I'm done with the Hannah stuff. I know that's truly what everybody wants, but I'm not going to trash her on TikTok. That's not who I'm gonna be. Um, A little bit about me. I'm a full-time nanny. That's what I'm doing right now. My nanny mom knows I made all those videos in her house (laughs) and she, thought I was a rock star um, because she's also seen this girl's content and is like, oh my God, I would never want my daughter to see stuff like that. And I agreed. I almost was like, I should crop her out of all my pictures because I don't want my children um, asking me about her one day and me having to show like them finding her. Oh my God. We create a kind space over here.
right? Say yeah. <laughs> he nodded. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go about my life, maybe make some nanny videos, enjoy my marriage and my life here. You, some of the you, parts of you it. You deny parts of it don't seem realistic to you. You right. think they're embellished upon. I think they're embellished, yeah. The same way. This sounds... Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Ah, they're going to be gonna in get trouble. This sounds, this sounds similar to the slavery stuff, too. Because that's that's literally... they they The founder of... Or the guy who made Roots said, I wanted a myth for my people to live by. So they often... But that's what they do is they embellish... And I'm not trying to say it wasn't horrible. It was. Right. But they want to make it, like, more horrible so that they can control people in a way. And that it sounds really similar because even with the... Um, ah, <laughs> please leave me on YouTube. <laughs> please. But even, even with, like, the slavery stuff, like, that's what they'll they'll do and they won't talk about instances of like slaves traveling across states like when they initially freed the slaves there were some slaves that felt so indebted to their owners that they would travel across states to pay them back and they actually had a really good relationship yeah. with them but they act like that wasn't possible um, now this is especially especially interesting because because Gabby has a black boyfriend you know so it's like do you think that's wrong I do yeah she should break up with him I do think that, yeah. I prefer that she wasn't doing that. Don't you? Don't you said? Oh, does it make you uncomfortable, Nick? No. No, but it's wrong. <laughs> why, why? Why is it wrong? She should find a nice Catholic Italian but I thought man. You, I thought she's tainted now. I'm tainted. I have tattoos. Well, that's yeah. I mean, she is. So it's going to be a hard time for her, but. Yeah. Okay. She's got to live with that. Oh, okay. Um, I never thought I would sit down and have a conversation with a known white supremacist, but here we are. Here we are. Um, thanks for having me, Pearl. Thanks for coming on. Nick, I wish I had nicer things to say. All wow. I have to say is, I, black men, I love you. Gross. <laughs> I wish you luck and you know I don't wow I really don't I, I don't I don't wish luck to racist oh I'm not racist uh yes you are yes you are Nick yeah I am a little bit racist yeah, but listen but it's not because I hate people I love people it's just <clears throat> race is real race is real race is a part of us so, hey, it is what it is. And um, the Italians, we do not claim you. Oh, oh, hey, the Italians don't claim you. You're the one dating a black guy. The Italians don't claim me. They don't claim you. Oh, no, they claim <laughs> me. They claim me. I don't think so. They do. Italian guys, yeah. Italian, T tell an Italian big, guy about lovers. your affinity for black guys. That'll go over real well. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Nick. <laughs> Maybe some brajol. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a Italian. No, for but I, I will make my uh, black boyfriend some of that. Ugh! Wow. You don't know any better. So.